All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later for something different, something special. We are going to be doing an omniscience draft today. Um, this is our our last video of the day here tonight. This is a Friday night. We're uh, just, you know, doing something a little different on a Friday night. Decided to uh, keep the stream going, you know, late night stream. We got some overtime here. Uh, bonus hours, if you will, um, where we're doing something kind of crazy. So it says, um, I know uh, this is kind of covering it up a little bit, um, but in Omniscience Draft, you draft the three packs and you keep all the cards that we draft, but with a twist. You don't have to pay the mana cost for spells you cast, so no need to put lands in your deck. You also get one mana of each color each turn to use for abilities, so you get the five mana, one of each color. And every player starts with three cards in their hand instead of seven. So everything, every single spell is free. Um, so we want to we want to dra uh, draft cards that um, are going to be high velocity cards that let us uh, just go through our deck. So we want cards like divination uh, that draw two and just basically all the things that draw cards because we want to be able to go through our deck and play all of our cards for free. Um, yeah, so the extra mana is used for the kicker effects. Okay, that's good good to know. So yeah, we use that extra mana for kicker effects. So this is a, a pricey one. So we got 5,000 gold here. Let's let's go and use 5,000 gold. Turn it into gems, maybe. Omniscience Draft. All right, let's see what we got. Um, is there a better way to view these? Yeah, like this. All right, Tesher. So wait, we cannot kick. Does this mean we cannot kick fight with fire? Because we don't have we won't have six mana to kick it. We'll have like the five mana. I assume that's what that means. Um, board the weatherlight looks pretty cool. Like looking at five cards and taking a historic card. That's you know it's like better than draw a card kind of thing. So that's pretty good. Um. Okay, right. So it is too expensive. So no, kickers are not free. Can't kick anything above, I guess, five. You get one of every color. Um, Fervent gives Slin Haste. Well, I don't think that's going to be a first pick card, though. So I think my options here of cards that I want um, are either Befuddle, which just cycles, or Board the Weatherlight, which cycles but helps you dig. Um, so since I think some of y'all are saying like there's some really important legendaries in here, I kind of want to just take the board, the weather light, but I think these are the, these are the two best cards are board, the weather light and befuddle. Um, so I, th I think I'm going to go with board, the weather light befuddle is best first pick. This is, I mean, this does have the chance of whiffing though. Like, so board, the weather light has like some downside that if we whiff, you know, if we if we're pl playing a whole lot of other instants that draw cards, actually, so yeah, actually, we'll just take Befuddle. Yeah, it's it's more reliable. We'll we'll take that. Wow, uh, this card's kind of cool. Um, what else? Yeah, this card looks pretty good. Uh, that one doesn't matter. This one doesn't matter. Yeah, that one has kicker. I, I guess it's just the self-replicator. I'm not really seeing anything else I'm um, liking. I don't think this could be really good. You have five mana every turn that you get to use. Baird's going to be terrible. They have five mana they get to use for this. I don't think I don't think that these games I, I have not of course I have not played these games. So I can't imagine these games are gonna be too much stalemate stuff. Unwind is okay for just countering just negate basically the untapped three lands of the matter. Um The Caligo Witch is... Oh, we don't have a Caligo Witch in here, though, right? Yeah, not an automatic discard, too. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go with this 
self-replicator. Cast a historic spell, pay one, make another one. Let's go with this. Yeah, sure, they can't kick anything that turn. That's just not... It's not like the deck's going to be filled with kick cards. This card's kind of cool. All right, I like that card. Um, Flavakeld looks kind of awesome. Because you just empty your hand, so it's just like the second turn you draw to. Flamakeld's awesome. All right, so I like the first two. Um, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, let's see, what does this do? It just enters with a counter on it. Ooh, this is good. Kick this, get your instant or sorcery back. This card's actually really good. Um... Yeah. So this, Flame, or Uragos. Um, well, I guess the land is like a draw two if you, you wait a turn. I guess, so Memorial the Genius and Flame Akeld are basically the same. Get two is insane. So are we supposed to just be taking the get two? The memorial costs five. But yeah, this this gets you your draw spells back. Yeah, let's just take the get two. We want to get draw spells back. Um, hmm. These cards don't look very good. This thing can return an artifact card. We can return like a replicator. Now these cards look very good. Yeah, maybe we just have negate. Yeah. Negate's more important than removal. Anyway, but yeah, I guess we just take the negate. That's a bad pack. It's another bad pack. Man, what are these bad packs doing? Um. So there's a combo with this fervent strike, I guess. Yeah, we do need historic spells for Mishras, but maybe maybe the Mishras just won't, won't be good. So is there some combo with this fervent strike that I'm supposed to take it? I could just, yeah, I could just get this historic, um, but I don't, I'm not, you know, I want to make our deck real powerful. I'm not, like, I'm not married to the Mishra Self-Replicator. But I, I don't see anything else here I like. I guess I just get that thing. We've had some bad packs here. Ah, here we go. ETB, discard draw. Take it. There's nothing else that's good, right? Doesn't look like it. No. No, no, okay. Discard draw. Um, scry one draw. Ooh, opt. Yeah. I looked over that at first. Um. This thing ETBs and returns another historic permanent. Um. Alright, let's get this guardian. Then I guess I'm getting this board the weather light. I need bigger creatures. 
No, let's get this rescue. Rescue, we can bounce the we can bounce the get to chronicle or Yeah, let's get rescue. Yeah, get another ETB effect. Um unwind. Does ETB gain three? Yuck. Yuck. I guess five four? Is a five four better than yeah, I guess a 5-4. Kicked return an artifact card. I guess that's better than that thing. Oh, yeah. I know the 5-4 is not very good. It's just bigger than the other stuff. Um... I don't know, I'll take this spell. We are not getting good packs. Is there anything good? He I mean, Kelden, is there anything better than Kelden Raider here? Is there something I'm missing? These are not good packs. Oh, Evra. Evra, change life total, Fervent Strike, turn one kill. Oh, Evra, turn one kill. All right. I guess we, I guess we go for the Evra, turn one kill. Ooh, Blink of an Eye is pretty good. Or... Uh, we have get to chronicler though too. Like I think we have to take the blink of an eye. Um, yeah, hopefully we can turn one kill somebody. Kind of take this chronicler. Nah, it's probably blink of an eye. The problem is like bouncing something isn't really that necessary, and of course. If, if it's our turn one, we don't get to actually draw a card with this, which is a problem. Oh, no, no, we can bounce our own thing. We can bounce our own Chronicler and stuff and draw. And then re replay Chronicler, return this, bounce Chronicler, draw. Actually, that's just a combo. Yeah. This is just... Wait, don't we just draw our deck? If we have, like, Chronicler on the battlefield, we draw this. Oh, no, we don't have the two mana for Kicker all the time. We'd only, have, we'd only be able to, like, Kicker at once. Right. I want to pay for the kicker once. So never enough chroniclers. All right, let's chronicler. <clears throat> um, syncopate's awful. Expels are just zero, right? Or like you use like your five mana or whatever, but they just pay it. Yeah, that, that's awful. Is there anything worthwhile here? Because I'm not seeing it. I guess just fight. Yeah, just removal with fight with fire, I suppose. Wizards Retort's good. Yeah, let's take Retort. Just Force of Will. Yeah, we'll take Force of Will. Uh, Opt is looking good. Is this thing? I mean, four four flyer. We we pay a four to deal two. Yeah, jelly. Every pack in War of the Spark gets a planeswalker. 
What do y'all think? Kazarov or Opt? Which one do you think? Kazarov or Opt? I guess Kazarov. Yeah, it's actually just a, a good card. We don't have good cards. But the thing is, like, Opt, Opt does, like, help us get that turn one kill. You know, like, the more Opts we have, the more chance that we have, like, our, our turn one kill of our Fervent Strike and Ezra. I kind of regret taking the Kazarov. But oh well. It's three damage to an opponent. I guess I'm taking Deep Freeze. Nah, two damage isn't relevant. I guess I'm taking Deep Freeze. Y'all see anything better? Kazarov does have the coolness factor. Overopt. Yeah, we have gotten really bad packs. We really have. All right, there's another opt. That's good. Oh, but weight of memory. Draw three. Target player puts the top three. Yeah, draw three. Let's get that. I don't even know what you'd do. Uh, return all creatures back to their owner's hand. Whatever. Wait, is Voda good? I mean, this is this is Ancestral Recall, right? Like, we got to take the Ancestral Recall. Wait, wait, wait. Search your library for two cards. Uh, but then you... Dang, we need our two cards. We have a, our two-card combo. Man, that's a good card, too. Why Why are, like, all these good cards, like, finally here? Yeah, wait is the pick, but Slin is sweet. But yeah, wait is the pick. Just take the draw three. All right, draw a card. Cycle. I will take the Cycler. Barely anything else there. All right, now we got all these crappy cards. Um. Oh yeah, final parting is stupid good with get two. Um. So yeah, final parting plus a get to would let us get our two parts of our combo. Like if we had the get to in, in our hand. Yeah, I guess it's rescue. Yeah. We can rescue. Um, none, of these, none of these things do anything. We can take like this thing because it's historic for like other historic stuff, but whatever. These things don't do anything. Vigor is fine. This thing's fine. All right. If you say so. Um, so I'll take this lifelink creature. I don't know. Get this haster. I don't know. These are some terrible picks. We have gotten some awful cards there. All right, we finally found a divination. And I don't see anything that I'm taking over the divination. So yeah, let's let's get this divination. Squee. Yeah, we are not finding things that draw cards. Um, I can take another fervent strike, so we can com so it's like another another combo piece. <laughs> you need mana to recast Squee. I know, right? <laughs> yes, correct. My ties are not clip on preach. I tie in myself. Thanks for the resub there. Yeah, let's get the let's get the fervent. 
So we have an, another combo piece with our Ezra. Is that it? Ezra? Evra. All right, Blink says draw. This says draw. I want things that I can go turn one draw. So, um, oh, Kelden Raider is draw also. Oh, this you have to target a creature though, don't you? You can't. Yeah, so let's get the Kelden Raider. So that's sub number 17. I should update that. That is true. The Ezra is legendary. So the Board of the Weatherlight's not horrible. All right. So this Caligo makes him discard too. So that's not bad. Um, anything better? Anything that says draw two or draw one? Nope. I guess it's just Caligo. The skin witch. The witch witch. All right, we have opt in this thing. Kick it, it gets five one one counters, double its power and toughness. To twenty twenty, when it attacks. Wait, isn't this just combo also? Big monkey's first turn kill with fervent strike also, right? Yeah, so now we got now we have multiple ways to kill on on turn one. Um, I guess adventurous impulse can 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 dig three for our our thing. What does this do? We could follow the three and our opponent. Uh, bargain. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put two in your hand and the other in your graveyard. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's that's our card. Uh, sh shuffle up to three cards and draw. Ooh, Fervent Strike? Fervent Strike's our thing that gives haste. Should we Fervent Strike? An an another one? Yeah. Dude, we're just going to be turn one killing people. That's going to be great. Uh, negate? I guess I want negate. What does the phantom do? Whenever you cast a historic spell, you pay... Nah, we don't want that. It's It's either spiral or unwind, but... I don't even know if Spiral is really that necessary. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take Negate. Alright, draw a card. I will take draw a card. Um, yeah, we're, we're a combo deck for sure. Alright, Board of the Weatherlight is... Basically... Look at the top five, see if... Evra's in your top five because Evra's like the only card that matters. So that's all it all it does is look at the top five to see if Ezra's there. Oh, Kazarov's legendary, but that one. Oh no, Grunt is legendary too. They're both legendary. Awesome. Never mind. Never mind. It's great. The monkey's legendary too. Let's get him. Get them both. Um. You do have to target a creature with this, right? You can't just, like, cast this without a creature in play. Yeah, I don't really care about the artifacts, though. We're a combo deck. I, I understand I understand that it, that it gets artifacts, but those, those cards don't matter. All right, going to sub if we get a first turn kill? Okay. We're going to do it. We're going to first turn kill. Uh... Sure. Uh, guess you. Yeah, you can filter mana. All right, we got sixty gems for doing the draft. Wow. Yeah, we only get to get rid of two cards. Certainly have some crappy cards. Um, 
Broken Bond. That's in our deck. That can't be in our deck. Uh, these creatures are really bad. Can we get rid of more than two? I guess it's Talarian Scholar. Ditch the Envoy. What's the Envoy? Where's Envoy? Envoy, Envoy. Oh, Lana War Envoy. I mean, that's that's gotta be better than Talarian Scholar. But you're saying I ditch both of these and Broken Bond can be good? Breaks Flamekeld. That's true. It does break Flamekeld too. Yeah, I mean, I guess these things don't really matter, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Broken Bond better than those. All right, let's get some turn one kills. Y'all ready? Turn one kills? I'm, I'm getting ready for this. Let's win the die roll. Are these best two out of three matches? Or are these one game matches? I'd assume they're one game. You can't really sideboard. Win the die roll. We go first? Nice. Um, our hand kind of sucks though. But I guess we'll keep. This is not a turn one kill. Yet. Draw a card. Okay, okay. Um, discard this draw. Ugh. I, I did that first in case we hit like a you know like a draw three or something. All right, that's all I got. Yeah, we're one. Yeah, we we didn't have the the thing to give it haste. <laughs> Just decline. No way. We want to see, you know, objects moving across the battlefield, the uh, or game zones, game objects moving across zones. That's that's always fun. But aren't I, aren't I kind of close to dying? Oh, it's with her power? Not power and toughness? Oh, well, that's a punt. We gained four. Pay one. Uh, yes. Our opponent, our opponent thought syncopate was going to do something. What is this? Whenever a creature an opponent controls is dealt damage, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. All right, we didn't get a turn one kill, not yet. We'll get one next time. 
Yeah, Kaz, Kaz was going to rock that game. Thankfully, we ran into an opponent who did not have a very good deck. They had just a bunch of, you know, crappy creatures. Um... I guess so. We'll just ditch this deep freeze and draw a card. Omniscience is a is an enchantment that allows you to cast all your spells for free. Okay. Man, the first strike was like the next thing. Um I think I may just take this Kazar off since I don't get to turn one kill. Because, like, our opponent can just play any blocker for this, and then it's just, like, whatever. So, even though we could shoot our own raider, it doesn't... Shooting our own raider doesn't do anything. It's only whenever a creature an opponent controls is dealt damage. They have a Kaz also? Boy, howdy. I mean, we know what's going to happen here. Yeah, I'll, I'll ping there. I'll ping something. Rescue isn't really doing too much for us, but, you know, maybe we can return the raider and... This card doesn't do anything. That, that creature's just going away. I don't really know what the point of that was for our opponent. Come on, let's get a draw three. If I attack, they get to attack back for more. I'm not winning this race. Yeah, that's that's true. They can both die still. That's really good.
Man, they have a final parting. Yeah, I mean, them trading though is not bad for me because my Kazarov goes back to my hand and I just play it again and, and I just continue and then I just build it back up. So like now their their Kazarov's gone for good. They can't shoot my stuff anymore. Uh kicker. That thing is big. That is big. Does he have trample? Nah. <laughs> Thornell Mail is like, wait, what? <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> they can't assign the damage like it wasn't blocked. I hope they don't have something that. <clears throat> Say, I hope they don't have something that uh, hurts this. Ooh, just a 2-2. Two -two. That's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. Alright, let's shoot that. Attack with the 20-20. They jump. Yeah, Demonic Vigor saved us. Target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. Okay. Might as well attack with both of them by now. Oh, I didn't... Yeah, I didn't ping with Kaz on their turn. I don't think that's going to matter too much from here, but we'll see. I could have an 11-11 Kaz here. They could be at 16. Yeah, it's Kazarov. One last game, it's winning this game. Kaz does seem pretty OP in this format. I'm really glad we took it over, like, you know, random draw card. Card. Creatures gain first strike. Alright. Creatures gain first strike. Play that, discard the witch. Broken Bond, destroy target artifact. Yeah. All right, we are two and zero. Oh. oh, I forgot. To, I didn't put our record up here. That was a pretty long grindy game. Uh, at that point, it didn't matter that we didn't ping. That part didn't matter. Ugh. Right. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. That's why it's called broken bond. All right. Can we get a turn one kill? We haven't gotten a turn one kill yet. Ah, uh, we're on the draw. Ah, uh, we have half of our. We have half our combo.
<laughs> yeah, I've been joining this yet. Okay. Ooh, divination. Here we go. Here we go. What do you do? Hmm. I want to. I want to kill. I want to turn one kill. I guess we don't need the second fervent strike. They could have negate though. But they probably would have negated like divination. Uh No turn one kill. So close. So close. We had we had the fervent strike. Rat row. We have a lot of great draws for us here. Uh, now they're they're gonna have a blocker now though. Unfortunately. That's a good one. Oh. We were one card away from having our kill. Our turn one kill before. Um Do I still do I still just do it and have but they just chump lock? I was I was waiting on Deep Freeze to see if they played something better since the five three can just trade with these. Um, That's a good thing to deep freeze. you deep freeze and attack alone 10 plus 10 equals 20 yeah i mean well deep freeze only just turns the thing into defender like it's still like just didn't need to use the deep freeze yeah like neither of those creatures really matter and so now we get we get this arvard like saving it we found a creature that matters which is the arvard that would have had death touch and now it doesn't yeah they can still block with the the deep freezed creature Oh my gosh. Slimefoot? That's another creature that matters. That is horrible for us. Huh. Oh, that's unwind, not not the bounce spell. No, I don't think we can beat this. I mean, we need I mean, even Kaz doesn't beat this cuz it just deals the damage. We have we have like a fight with fire in here.
But I mean, not only does it block forever, but every every time it they one of these dies, it deals damage to us. What is this thing? Okay, it's just a 3-2. No, our fight with fire. So we need to draw at least that's there. We have we have two get to lava get to things in our deck. We need to draw one of the get to things. We have two of them. Yeah, it was the next draw. We were one draw away from the turn one kill, too. Now, see, the population control is bad because each time one of those things dies, um, it pings us. So it's, like, not even good. I, I want to kill the slime foot first. Does this thing have lifelink? No. Return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand? What do you do? Draw some cards? Yeah, sure, whatever, I, I suppose. Yeah, thankfully my uh, my opponent's not making sapperlings on my turn, thankfully. They're still milling me, even though they're playing Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. I wish we had a card that gave our Grun Trample. We still have we still have those two cards that are winners. First strike. What do you do? You have trample? That's kinda cool. Enchantment that gives plus one, plus one, and flying. Yeah, that would have been nice. We have a couple lifelink things, you know, like Ezra, for example, is a lifelinker. And she she can gain us a whole lot of life. So that's another card that we're looking for because that's why I'm saving these. Like I, I want to be able to give Ezra plus one plus one. Um, and be able to, like, return her back and everything like that. Well, I mean, let's just go to blocker and see what happens. This blocks this. This blocks this. This blocks this. Uh...
So we're taking one. I guess I need to kill the 1-1 one, one sapperling if we're taking one. Skiz has trample. Good call. Good call. Let's not get that trampled over. Do I need to save this 5-5? Five five? Can we, like, kill them? Yo. Yeah, so we're taking four. We're going... Yeah, we're going down to one. Um... Do I need to save this thing? Basically, can I, can I kill them on the swing back? They have two blockers. They go block, block... We can do uh, 10, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yes, we can. Yeah, I think we can do 20. If I, unless I miscounted that. Oh, they gain life. No. Ooh. Wait. No, I need to give this haste now. Hmm. This doesn't have haste. And I can't I can't ping this first. Hmm. I can't kill Slimefoot first. Yeah, that, that life gain. I think we can do 20. But it doesn't matter. Um, Ah, there's my life linker. Yeah, it's too late. Vigor the spar and block with witch. Sap. I don't. Yeah, Slimefoot got us. Um, what do we got here? Okay, so we have we have the Ezra. I'll keep this. It's not it's not a turn one kill. Unfortunately. But we have a turn two kill. If our opponent doesn't have a blocker. What's Vigor the Spar and Block with Witch? Like, I don't... Make their 1-1 one, one, a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, yeah. Well, they had... Okay. Wait, do they just not have anything? Uh, let's draw three. Just in case. Like, because we maybe draw, like, our Negate... Two in my hand. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Now it's not 20. Oh, but this thing's going to kill him. All right, so we're still good. Why self-mill? Like, why did I mill myself? Oh, I, uh, we have these things. You had these things that we could draw into. What does our opponent have? Is there like a put a tar target attacking creature back on top of their library kind of thing? The e ever is still going to be 20. I guess they could have just a bounce spell. That's... Interesting. Please be dead. 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 Lame. Turn to our artifact card if it was kicked. Had to go for it, you know. We're not going to win immediately if we don't go for it. So I, I couldn't kick gun. Um, so I'm waiting till next turn to be able to kick gun. Yeah, we'll resolve that thing. Put a one counter on each creature you control if it was kicked. Put two one counters on instead. <clears throat> First Strike, Flying Vigilance, and Trample. Karazov ca can't trade with it, can it? No, we have to chump block. First Strike. I couldn't kick a Grun last turn, so it would have only just been a 5-5. A five five. So I wanted to wait a turn so it could be a 20-20. Oh, no first strike? Okay, so we, get, we do get to trade. Well, that's good news. All right, since they blocked, now our Kazarov can be bigger. And now now we don't even trade. That's hexproof now. That's lame.
All right, so now next turn we get to play the the twenty twenty. So I guess they wanted to return. They wanted to draw two. That's kind of weird that they were willing to just to sacrifice their big lifelink creature just to draw two. Hmm. I mean, I can... I can swing for 20. Or I can just start pinging these things. I'm doing this. I'm playing the grunt. I'm just playing the grunt to make it make one of these things. Um. Keep our stuff back. All right, that thing's not gonna do anything. I think we got this game. Now, Kazarov is just being incredible again. Alright, I don't know what I'm returning, but I'm returning something. Getting weight of memory back. Alright, that's both of our chroniclers now. We'll mill them. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, this we've had less less card draw than the corset whenever this happened with the corset. A lot less card draw, so a grindier format. So this just um Put some more counters on our on our thing. I guess I I guess I should maybe I should just waste the fervent strike and attack with the replicator because they'll just you know definitely block with the two three. Yeah, JRC, uh, Movement is new sponsor starting yesterday. Uh, they make awesome watches. You can see this beautiful uh, blue, blue and brown watch. Awesome watches and sunglasses. And you can um, <clears throat> you can go through my referral link and use the coupon code ToddStevensMTG. Get 15% off your purchase and get a free donation deck um, as well. And support the stream there. So you can up your watch game. With movement. Or sunglasses. Or get a gift. Alright, so we are 3 and 1. So usually it's like 750 gems to enter, so we need to go like six wins to make more than that back. Yeah, another game on Kaz. 
Kaz has been just incredible. Can we get a turn one kill? We haven't had the turn one kill yet. Let's win the die roll, then turn one kill. Win the die roll. Die roll. All right, we've got the die roll. This is not a turn one kill, and this is a horrible hand. I mean, I guess we have the skin witch. I guess I'm going to keep for the skin witch. It's tough to have, like, your both combo pieces. We only get to see three of the 40 cards. Whew. Mulligan. Mulligan to turn one mind rot. Oh. You can't go down to one opponent. You just got to keep her two. They did scry their card to the top, so they probably have a pretty cool card there. <laughs> Is it an 06? They scry that to the top? Sure, man. Uh, yeah, we'll mill us. My Kaz! Um, I'll take this and this. Cycle. Turn a historic permit you control to its hand. I need to return it from the graveyard to my hand. I'm just going to give this thing haste. What do I want to do with this thing? I guess I'll put this over here. You know, I just want to spread out the damage. Ooh. Have I kicked anything yet? Nice, I've not kicked anything yet. All right, well now they got two cards because the Howling Golem. Uh, it deals two to me and then they gain two, and then it deals two to me and then they gain two again, and then it makes a creature. Pretty sure I can just let that resolve. I don't think that saves them. Let's see what else they got. Just, uh, yeah, I guess so. And then they play it again, and then we counter it. And that's game. Well, I guess maybe not game. They could have an instant. What do you do? I don't know. Draw a card. We had exactly 13, even they blocked the 10-10 there. All right, four and one. How can you befuddle a huge stone wall? <laughs> it's a good question. How are you like really befuddling a huge stone wall? What's going on there? I guess I should get this Simic Adapt deck up on YouTube. Um, yeah, we can keep this. We got Opt and Chronicler to get back Opt. Still not a turn one kill right now. Um, let's see if we find our negate. What the hell does this thing do? Something with aura and equipment. Problems we can't like 
kick her this again. We have to like wait a turn. So we only kick her once. Um. I guess it's still better than a random card. Our hand's real slow. Wow. Are you kidding me? Dark bargain, dark bargain, final parting? And they have a weight of memory and the Dude, their hand their deck is nuts. Dude, I'm really glad they milled those over. Oh, unwind was the next card! But actually honestly this honestly letting this resolve was probably good. I don't want them to have those cards. This thing has flying? Yeah, flying first strike. Alright. That was the perfect mill for us. That was crazy. Crazy mill. Um Yeah, sure I guess. I know I could wait till their turn and actually save three life, but you know, whatever. Put this on the replicator. Nah. All right, let's get this. Shuffle those three into their library, then draw. I think, I think no. I think no. I think do not shuffle those back in and draw. Yeah, their their card quality is awesome. All right, again, the Simic Adapt up on YouTube. Constructed staple. Kick it. Could kick it real good. So we do want to empty our hand because the second chapter of Eldest Reborn. That card's just kind of crappy. Maybe I should have just taken the 5-4 body. But yeah, we're just emptying our hand because this second chapter of Alistair Born is going to... Does this thing have lifelink? No, first strike. So right now they can get just another Chronicler, but they can't kick it, so they can just get a 1-3. Um, yeah, nothing over here. So just a 1-3 right now is all they can get. They could maybe, if they block with this thing, they could get like a 2-3. So no, nothing good to get with the uh, animation there. The reanimation, the third chapter of Eldest Reborn. Okay, so we can dash up there. Oh, I know, right? We should have Lathless Dragon Queen. 
for this one. That'd be good. Oh no! <laughs> Why is their deck so good? This happens when you're in the 4 1 bracket. This is perfect time for them to mill another three with the weight of memory, because they better not like mill over something really sweet for this third chapter of Eldritch Born. Also. Alright, so they're milling themselves. What? What? Naru Meha? They get to scry and then double weight of memory? Are you kidding me? Living the dream. Oh yeah, and then let's just put, let's just put like these things in here so we could just reanimate these things. Sure, why not? They have a divination. Oh, and they have an embolus Im clutches. Dude, their deck is insane. I'm, I'm just, I'm just done. Their draft deck was insane. Yeah, we could have turned one down, but we didn't. Yeah, I didn't have it. Um, yeah. These demonic vigors have looked horrible. Uh, not horrible. They they did win us like our first game. I'm just gonna demonic vigor that thing. No, not really. Yeah, this is an awful hand. Basically, we just have we have a counter spell. But I just don't think that mulliganing is very good in this format. You know, I could certainly be wrong, but, you know, maybe just two and three, that's a big difference. You know, when you go down from seven to six, you know, if you, if you think about it there, like you're, you're losing 14% of your hand. When you're going down from three to two, you're losing 33% of your hand. It's like basically mulling to two is like mulling to five in normal... Magic. ETB, target player, puts the top four. I'm reading your card, man. Turn another historic permanent. They don't have a... Oh, back to their hand, right. That's when it goes back to their hand, not from the graveyard. I have that card. Yeah, you can shuffle those cards back in. Those cards aren't even good. That card is good. Uh, yeah. Um. So you're asking, are there still... Yeah, we have one divination. <laughs> We have one divination and one weight of memory and one dark bargain. We are very light on the card draw. That's all we saw. We have like two ops, I think. Um, there's, I, I think you meant like type one and type two tournaments instead of tier one, t tier two tournaments. I think that's what you meant was like Type 1 is legacy, type 2 standard. Um, they still have like di those different types. Like, they're still different formats. Yeah. I like those... 
I like those pizza oracles. From the corset ones. Yeah, that was an ex when extended was a thing, and there was like 1.5. Ah, they have their own retort. This is gonna hurt. Okay, dark bargain. I will take this one and this one. Yeah. And we'll mate. Wait. And yeah, mill ourself. Because the lava runner. Or the lava thing. Ooh. Oh, my Ezra. We found Kazarov. Alright, so we'll do this. Play this. I do want to pay one. You better not. You better not use the red mana. Alright, good. They didn't use the red mana. Um, doesn't really matter. Ping something. I was planning on just playing both creatures back, and I kind of just decided to not put both creatures back and decided just to ditch it. So, like, honestly, just bouncing bouncing my own creature and then discarding it was just a bad idea. I could have just discarded the bounce spell, <laughs> you know, and left the creature on the battlefield. That would have been a better idea, but... What? Return all creatures to their owner's hands? I kind of just like switch courses uh, mid that other thing. This is a combo. Our opponent's got a combo going on here. Bounce the slim. Oh, they could have bounced the slim back and then have the slim back the, bounce the witch and stuff. Oh, they, they don't have the mana to kick this right now. All right, so let's go. Let's just do this thing first. So do I want retort so I can counter the witch? Or do I want wait a memory? Because then if I don't counter the witch, because they can go Witch, make me discard the Unwind, and then Time of Ice after afterwards. Just get Wait for Creatures. Because that thing's an 8-8. Eight, eight. I have 22, they have 24. Let's mill them. I guess I'm just going to discard this Unwind, because we can't do anything with it. Because, uh, like, the Cabal Witch will just make us discard it. Ah! 
Oh yeah, we did hit two thorn elementals with that. With that mill. Uh, that's annoying. I, mean, I guess I'm just chumping it. When it dies, return that card to its owner's hand. Yeah. Just jump with this token. Nah, I'll just jump with the one three. Nah. Nah, that's, that card's good. Jump with the token, because if if the stuff does get bounced, the token's just gonna go go away forever. Just attacking for eight. So I can tap another thing, then yeah, uh, a friend of mine saw Captain Marvel too and said that they said that it was really good too. They said that it was a lot better than they thought it would be. That they were really impressed by it. So this will return these two things back to my hand. They should be attacking. I mean, I can I can ping something. It doesn't it doesn't matter. Is that they're just going back? They're just bouncing back to my hands. I got to keep this demonic vigor back in my hand so I can discard the vigor and the self self replicator. That just makes my life total 10. Kind of whatever. Just a 7 6. Which seems pretty big, but when they already have a 9 9, and. Alright, good. That thing doesn't have trample either. Okay, good. So yeah, kept, kept Demonic in hand so we have two cards to discard and we can replay Kazarov. So, if we block like this, that's 7, 8, 9, 10. I guess I can block like this. So that's that's 9, and then a, that's, yeah, 9 power, 8 toughness. I don't even want to block like that, really. I guess I don't, I don't want to bounce that thing, do I? Yeah, because they, they get it back. 
It's a huge problem. Okay. Um... So I guess I want to kill the 7-7 seven, seven over the 7-6. Seven, Is it better to kill the 7-7 seven, seven or 7-6? Seven, I guess, like, do I care if this thing's bounced back to him, basically? That's what I'm trying to decide if Tog Togar matters if it bounced back to him. Like, yeah, basically, if, if they played Voda and would bounce Togar, Torgar, or whatever, would I really care? What does this do? Returns an artifact card? You got any artifact cards chilling over here? This thing? Well, that's kind of bad. What? I want to use this ability. Can I use this ability? Like, yes, I want to use this ability. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. This is only... Well, I messed this up. Why was I thinking I was going to be able to... Oh, long game. I should have. I should have killed. I should have hit the seven six. Um. Yeah. Whatever. Double block this. Trump that thing. It's still gonna be the same. It's just gonna kill the three five. Yeah. It's. It's still fine. It costs four mana to ping. You only. You only have five mana every turn. So I can only activate it once. <clears throat> so they can get the... They can get this thing, which bounces a legendary, which can bounce the Voda, which then Voda bounces my cards. But I don't even know if that's, that's really that good for the opponent. It's kind of necessary because Kazarov's going to take over, so they kind of have to. But now this demonic thingy gets out is off of this now. Oh, they said no even. All right, Kazarov. Seriously? Come on. I think I want Slimvota to die now, right? Grun. <laughs> the Grun mirrors. Unwind a little late. Would've been nice on that deep freeze. So they're at 12 cards in library, we're at 11. Yeah, I thought it was the rescue also. Could 
double block grun. Um. I don't really know what this attack's about. I kind of want their grun to be dead, though. I mean, do I just do, like, the safe block and just, like, block like this? Or just not even block that 4-4? I guess I just do this. Uh, but not this one. The Caligo. Wow. Another Voda. Wow. Wow. Double Voda? What kind of instant or sorcery do I have over here that matters? I can't... Alright, well that can kill the Guardian. Is there any, any good instant or sorceries for me to get? I don't know, the, the opponent thought so. Hmm. Alright, 5 and 2. What a crazy game. What a crazy game. Yeah, that was pretty that was an odd scooping time. That was an odd scooping time. Alright, so can we get to we gotta get to seven wins here to uh you know get max payout. On the funeral. Cause honestly, it kind of seemed like, with the double Vona there, oh no, because the other one doesn't just go back to their hand. Wow, this hand is awful. I guess we have to go down to two. All right, come on, turn one kill with two cards. Okay, okay. Bottom. Turn one kill with two cards. Oh, they're dark bar bargaining in response. They're looking for their counter spell. Um, let's take this and this. I mean, rescue bounces our get to lava get to thing for the, like a previous for like a a, a follow up turn, but it doesn't help us turn one kill. I feel like we should probably try to turn one kill. I feel like we should try to turn one kill here. I think we're in a, a pretty good spot to turn one kill, all things considered. Oh, uh, but now kicking this though actually Ev Evra doesn't, so we have to find. The green thing, the green creature, and the hasty. All right, there's the haste. Um, I guess I get another chronicler, even though I can't kick it this turn. But we'll just have it for next turn if we don't get there. Come on, green creature. Ah, uh, didn't get there. Oh, Grun needs kicked too. You're right, we need to kick them both. So we just kind of didn't have this. He 
these stupid demonic figures. You're right, once we get to Chronicler, we couldn't actually turn one kill anymore. Once we kicked. So yeah, since since we couldn't since we couldn't turn one kill anymore, I think I should have gotten instead of a befuddle, I should have gotten the rescue. Then Our opponent's deck is really great. They've already played Dark Bargain, Divination. What? That card's cool. All right, we gotta find Kazarov. Cobra Dane getting the uh, uh, Twitch Prime sub up in here. Thank you so much for that support, Cobra Dane. Welcome to the channel. And that's two in a row. Thank you so much. All right, so let's take this and this. Our life total is a little too low to make it the 20 anyway. All right, sub number 18. Uh, hey, Todd, I was playing a Gates deck using the Lich's Mastery combo at FNM tonight. I resolved Lich's Mastery and my opponent scooped without even reading the card. <laughs> uh, guess I'm just countering this. Nice, that's a pretty good FNM. I feel like we've been playing against a lot of opponents that have opened up better than us. It took Naya Legends build F and M and went 4-0 and won the whole thing. That's awesome. Good job, Mike the Mailman. Thanks for building great decks and the great content. Well, that's that's great to hear. Yeah. All right, what do we got? Target artifact card. To return like the turn the howling mine. I could attack with the howling mine and return that. Alright, so now we have a 15-4. Gained our 15 life. We're actually gained a little bit of life, and now we have just like this 15-4 that's chilling. I don't know what else I'm really doing with that 15-4, but it's there. Fourteen four now. Come on. 
Still think we're winning this one. We got to got to find Kazarov. Um, but our opponent could probably have some kind of answer to it. I think we did pretty good for what our deck's doing. We've had opponents with a, a lot more card draw than us. And there's our Kazarov. And a weighted memory. I can't get those back anymore. I guess we could just like let our opponent kill us, but we're not going to win now. Insane amount of card draw our opponent's gotten. It doesn't really double Evra. We can just turn Evra into a 19 4. Um, wow. What a deck. We had a lot of like really crappy packs, and so I'm pretty pretty glad where we ended up. Um you know, like, we're playing Howling Golem and Excavation Elephant. We have a bunch of really bad cards in our deck. Yeah, like, these are all just, like, better things than what... Like, these are, like, a lot better than our bottom cards. So we did not get to turn one, kill anybody. That's the most disappointing. The most disappointing thing out of all this is we didn't get to turn one, kill anybody. It's the most disappointing thing. All right, we went five three. Let's see what we get for going five three. Um, so we we would have lost a hundred gems total. Uh, but we also gained 60 gems from the drafting. So it's basically like l losing 40 gems. Uh, and then the two packs are probably 40 gems. So I think we broke even at 5-3. Assuming these are gems. Yeah, because I'm, yeah, I'm out of Dominaria rares. Maybe we can get a Mythic. Hey, it's not a rare. So that's good. Time to face me. Nice. That's a great one. Awesome. Hey, that's worth it. Got that Jaya. Cool. That was a lot of fun. Thanks, Wampus. Yeah. I think we did pretty well, too, with our, our janky cards there. I think we did did pretty well. No, not going to do it again. Uh, streaming for eight and a half hours now. So that's going to be it for the stream. Um, I guess I should men mention the... Uh, my uh, two sponsors here, again, um, before getting out of here, you know, Quip, you know, amazing toothbrush. Um, we've got seven out of ten people to sign up for Quip. Uh, whenever we get to ten, we'll be doing a 12-hour stream. And remember, with both Quip and Movement, if you sign up, you get a free donation deck also. So I'm throwing in some extra incentives there, too. Uh, you know, use my, my uh, referral code for Quip to uh, get your first refill free as well. And then Movement. Uh, watches, sunglasses, get 15% off of your store put purchase. Awesome watch. Check them out. Uh, use the referral link, of course, as always, and also the coupon code ToddStevensMTG. Uh, but thanks for watching, everybody here. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for watching. Uh, had, had, a, uh, had a good time today. Um, hope to see you all back tomorrow. Um, you know, I'll be back here tomorrow, same time, 3 to 10. So... See y'all tomorrow. Watch it on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that sub button over there. We got the uh, 2,000 YouTube subs is another stream goal there as well. But thanks for watching on YouTube. I'll see you for the next video.